Hey everyone, this is Zelda from Zelda Sews and welcome or welcome back to another video. I just want to share something with you. Thank you so much for all my new subscribers and thank you for the ones that have been there right from the beginning. I'm going to tip this because it looks a little crooked. Okay. <laughs> One, Grace and Shalisa and Rochelle, I think those were the three, told me about the, the no me patterns at Joanne Fabrics. I called my Joanne Fabrics and they said, no, it's not us. No, 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 I didn't call. I was in there first day of the sale of the McCall's. I was in there and they pulled up on their handset, scanned it. No, it's 30% off. Yet, I'm seeing everyone purchasing Know Me patterns online. Grace is like, check it out. Check it out because maybe it's not right. So I said, okay, I'll check it out. Uh, then I call the next day, the 14th, yesterday. Well, actually, it'll be two days now when this goes up. I asked, can you tell me if the know me patterns are on sale? The lady said, the know what? She was new. So I said, the know me patterns, how do you spell that? K-N-O-W space M-E. So she says, okay, hold on. <laughs> no, they're not on sale. They're 30% off. I called to the Joanne Fabrics in another town and they said, no, they go on sale starting on the 16th for $1.99. I said, the 16th? Not now. They said, no, no. Okay. I saw Grace's comment again, another one. So I said, I'm going to call again. I know I'm bugging them, but I have to know. So I called and said, I know the McCalls are on sale until today. I, I think it's until today, 13, 14, 15. And is the know me pattern on sale, patterns on sale. Hold on. She uses her scanner and she says, no, they're 30% off. And I said, are you sure? She said, yes, but tomorrow they'll be 88% off. I said, what, what is that? How much, what, 88%? They said, well, they're different prices. I'm like, no, no. I said, I am involved in a YouTube community of sewists, and they are telling me know me patterns are on sale. So I said, you checked your hand device. And she goes, yes, I did. Let me check the register. So she said, okay, hold on. So this is another two-minute hold. I, she comes back to the phone and says, well, I want to apologize. Yes, they are on sale for $1.99. My husband pulled the sheet over his head and said, see you later. <laughs> and so off I went. And right now I am going to share with you what I purchased. All of what I purchased. Okay, another thing I'm revealing of myself here. I'm okay with it. Uh, it, it, and you know, but it's just a vulnerable side of me. I get compliments on my smile and I thank you so much for that. I, I truly appreciate it. These chompers I throw in a glass at night and right now it is split in the middle. My, my dentures, I, I had a, a illness that almost took me out of this world here and it ended up taking my teeth so they're mine 
I paid for them. <laughs> but that's me. So any cruel comments, please just keep passing. And here we go. So I have to get them fixed and my disposition won't change, but maybe my, my face might, I might have to cover me up with uh, a mask or shoot way from over there. <laughs> so you don't see. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start off with the McCall patterns that I did pick up. There's no rhyme or reason for these. I'm just going to explain to you what went on in my head when I picked them up. Okay. This is M8409, and this is McCall's Level 1 Learn to Sew. Now, I chose this particular pattern because you can learn bands and darts I've done both, but I struggle with darts. And you also do piping. I have not done piping ever. So maybe I did it many, many, many years ago on a pillow, but no, not for this. Okay. I'm going to lay my patterns that I have talked to you about over here. Oh, okay, this one here is uh, McCall's 8401. It's a vintage 1950s dress. I love this error. I really do. I was doing uh, my hair earlier and I had it pulled up in uh, a, a twist bun. And with this shirt on, I felt like I was one of uh, like a 1950s uh, factory worker. <laughs> But anyway, I love this. It's just beautiful. And it just, you can do it with calicos. That's what I love because I have a bunch of calico. Showies, gingham, linen, polished um, cotton, poplin, printed silk. Mm -hmm. And anyway, and a number of other fabrics. So I picked that one. I also picked up this because I saw somebody with it today actually this morning and I said hmm I'm not a big pants person but I may try the longer shorts and it's M8408 I thought and and it, I can do some color blocking I own, like I said, two pair of yoga pants and a pair of sweatpants because when it got really cold when we lived in the RV, I bought, actually, no, I have two pair, two pair of sweatpants and when it got really cold, those helped at night and then when we lost our heat, oh, they were a godsend. Okay, but yeah, I thought this was pretty neat and... I would like to try this. This has belt loops that I have not done. And I just think it will be cool. Okay. This I just bought because I want to make these for my granddaughters, both of them. And it's just cute. M8422. Little bunnies. Oh, I mean bears and bunnies and it's just too cute. I don't know if it's bunnies. It's bears. Forgive me. I'm sorry. My teeth are not right. So my brain is a little jilt off kilter. Okay. This is McCall's M. Oh, McCall's 8405. And I like the sleeves on it, but I like this length dress. I don't wear, I, very rarely do I wear anything that is short. I will wear, I will wear like mid calf or maybe a little bit higher, but the Rivermont dresses that I made, they were, they were, just below my knees 
and I find like when I'm sitting in church, I need to get a, a, something to cover over my legs that I'm not used to doing. So I might try to make it again, make it a little bit longer, but I did like the length of both of them that I did. Okay. Now I'm just going to do the rest of the ones that are McCall's. And this is another uh, vintage 1980s. And I bought this mainly for the skirt. It's 8306. I like the length. I like the style. I like the gathers. And it's just adorable. So, yes, I, I just really like this. Okay. Now, here's where I, for my hubby, <laughs> this one and this one. <laughs> okay, I'll come right back to this. This is M8414, and it is just cute. I like it. It's the shirt and the shorts. And I think it's something that I can do. It has a zipper. I'm not sure if I will put the pockets right here. I know you're supposed to, but my hubby doesn't like pockets on his tummy area. So, but I do like this. And it was $1.99. So I am loading up. I've loaded up. I have a bunch of patterns so that I can so to my heart's content because I have a bunch of muslin too so I can do it and this was the first one the second one I showed you M8415 it is a vest um, and the shirt what is this with this oh and a tie well it looks like a tie I think but this is really cool. I like the vest. And I like the shirt too. But I'm going to try the vest first. Because the vest will be easier for me to do. Okay. The rest is because I have um, a, a membership. Not membership. Uh, subscription to the Sew It Academy through Mimi G. And I purchased a bunch of No Me patterns. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Shalisa. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I'm just going to start off with, okay, and, and this one, I know it's advanced. I'm not ready for it yet, but eventually I'm going to be ready for it for my hubby because I love him and he takes good care of me. So I'm going to take good care of him. So I'm something that he can actually wear outside and not be embarrassed. <laughs> okay, this is ME2036. And it's just notions. It just has nine buttons. So I don't have to. Go get a bunch of anything else. Yay. Okay. This is ME2031 by Mimi G. I thought I like the, I don't know if that's like pen tucks or just gathers or whatever, whatever you call that in there. I like the style of it. I would lengthen this definitely more than it is because it's too short, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. The next uh, pattern is, oh, you know what? I am sorry. I didn't realize they have, like who it's by, I guess Norris Dainta Ford. That might be her husband. I think it is. Uh, yeah, might be, might be. Okay, and this other one is by Lydia Naomi. 
and I don't know if these names are familiar to you. Probably it's not familiar to me because it's not. And this is Gwen Hang. I apologize if I'm saying the names incorrectly. But I thought this was cute. This is ME2021. I like the waist coming in and then the flare on the bottom. And I would just keep that going uh, with a flare. Having that about right here. Or at least right here. One of the two. <laughs> I really like that. Okay. This is down the road. But I thought this was neat because this only somebody's knocking at the door. I wonder if that's my granddaughter with my son. This is No Me 2001. And it's a jacket. And I really like it. Let me put you on hold. I got to see who that is. Okay. Don't know. This one. It says it's by Sins of Many. Mimi G. It is 2017. And it is jacket and pants. And I thought this would be cool. For the winter. For my hubby. I have made him years ago. Um pajama pants and I made them a robe so hmm now these patterns here are I got them I'm willing to try them because I don't normally wear them and this is ME 2005 and this is by Aronica Cole and I like the pants. I, I I don't wear anything cropped. So, but I do like the pants. I like the pants. And they're cute. This, oh, this is in the call. So I'm sorry I missed this one. And I, I bought this one for the robe. It's 8412. And it is just cute. Now, I don't know. I may try something like that in a little bit, but we'll see. I'm hearing noises. This one I like, and I said if I go out ever, like on an evening event, I would love to wear something like this. And this is, uh, I don't know what the pattern number is. It says R11893. Let me see. So this would be, oh, ME2040. So pretty. I don't know where I'd go. I just make it in Go to Olive Garden. <laughs> okay. I have three more. And this I got by Handmade Millennial ME2008. And it's a jumpsuit. I know people love their one-piece jumpsuits. I'm just not crazy about getting all undressed to go to the bathroom and having nothing on on top just to go to the bathroom. But I might give it a try. I just might. Okay. The last two... This one is by Alicia Grace, and it's ME2038. I thought this was a very pretty dress, and I'd like to try something like that. And the last one, this one I'm definitely going to do because I have plenty of cotton, cotton blends and double knit. It's ME. 
2016. Beauté Giador, maybe. Could be ruining her name. I apologize. But I love this dress. Love, love, love this dress. It's just, it's too cool. So, something I'm going to try. I don't know, like I said, I have my list of things that I'm going to do. Uh, that I'm going to do for the, this month. But these are definitely in my pile to go. So thank you so much for watching. Pray for me that I get into the dentist. And I will see you on the next upload. Bye. God bless you.